The Atlas Beetle has a hidden trick up the elytra that can rival even the vice grips of the largest stag beetles, but how can it pinch if it can't even move those horns? Also, how hard can they supposedly pinch? Ow, 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 ow. Well, befitting the title Atlas, this colossal beetle has little to worry about as most won't mess with this behemoth, and those that do are fellow Atlas beetles competing for mates. Although gentle giants for the most part, when they come mano a mano, the inner demons of competition and rage are unleashed like a provoked bull to a red flag. They lock horns and wrestle with all their strength in a battle that goes on till there's a clear victor. While engaged, the goal of the Atlas Beetle is to upheave their opponent by tearing their iron grip legs off the woody surface and flinging them backwards, often to the forest floor. Many clashes explosively end this way, but when beetles are equally matched in size and strength, it becomes a war of attrition until one can no longer fight and backs away from exhaustion. With the force these beetles exert, it's not uncommon for beetles to lose a limb or two. However, through all that skirmishing, they don't pinch each other, and that's because the secret to their pinch is not in the horns, but actually in the joint between their thorax and abdomen. Now, why the heck do they keep such a powerful tool in the most awkward spot? Well, that's because of organisms like me. Occasionally, daring birds might attack the beetle from above, or maybe curious primates will try picking them up, and this pinch is their aggressive response to leave them alone. Without further ado, let's see how strong this pinch really is. I first want to test Frankie's strength on this chopstick to give me an idea of how much it's going to hurt, so... Oh my god, that looks so scary. He's latched on. And it's strong enough to support his weight. I'm gonna get him a little closer to the ground in case that happens, but uh... Yeah, he, he sticks on there quite well. Holy moly. I'll be honest, seeing how long Frankie held the pinch worries me and I'm having second thoughts about doing this, but... Okay. Oh. oh, he's not pinching now. What the heck? Frankie realizes I am friend, just like the others. Oh, okay. okay. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Jeez. It's hard to see, but he got me in that like fleshy area right here. It, it's a little red. He, he, he pinched quite hard. Holy moly. All right, let's leave him alone. Okay, I'm gonna stop messing with Frankie. It hurt, but I can't imagine how painful it'll be from a full size Atlas beetle. Frankie's around 85 millimeters, and I fear that I'll lose a finger if I try the behemoth 120 millimeter mammoth, or even bigger beetles like the Caucasus. But if we reach the impossible goal of 10,000 likes on this video, then fuck it. If you want to see more of Frankie, check out the 24 hour live stream and get your daily dose. But if live streams aren't your thing, here's a video of me getting pinched by another beetle as well as the reason why.